Did you know that one in three older adults will die from Alzheimer's disease or another type of dementia? This disease has a tragic effect on many lives, and current research still can't fully explain it. However, scientists do know that there are many genetic, social, and environmental factors that influence a person's susceptibility to develop Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most common forms of dementia, a chronic disorder of mental processes caused by brain disease or injury and marked by memory disorders, personality changes, and impaired reasoning. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that leads to memory loss and cognitive decline often preventing the affected individual from carrying out simple day-to-day -day tasks. People with Alzheimer's disease may experience mood changes, find it difficult to learn new information, and become unable to recognize friends and family. In a brain suffering from Alzheimer's disease, a large number of neurons die, resulting in tissue loss that can be seen on a brain scan. Some researchers believe that two protein complexes contribute to this widespread neuron death, neurofibrillary tangles, and amyloid plaques. In a diseased brain, neurofibrillary tangles make it harder for neurons to receive nutrients and send signals to each other. The neurofibrillary tangles are composed of tau protein. In a healthy brain, tau protein forms microtubules, which are cell structures that transport nutrients and support the cytoskeleton. Meanwhile, amyloid plaques are made of a protein called beta amyloid, a part of the larger amyloid precursor protein. Beta amyloid is cut from amyloid precursor protein and degraded outside the cell. This process is facilitated by a polypoprotein E, or APOE, which helps break down beta amyloid. The genome of any given individual can contain one of three isoforms, or variations, of APOE. Of these isoforms, APOE4 is the least effective at cleaving beta amyloid. Beta amyloid accumulates due to its chemical stickiness, resulting in protein aggregates and plaque formation. These plaques damage neurons and lead to cell death. Having the APOE4 gene is an example of a genetic risk factor. The expression of APOE4 increases the likelihood of beta amyloid aggregates, thereby increasing the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Besides genetics, there are other factors that contribute to someone's susceptibility to Alzheimer's disease. There's a concept called reserve that relates life experiences like exercise, diet, and education with the prevalence of age-related brain changes and pathological changes like those observed in dementia and Alzheimer's disease. There is brain reserve, which refers to the physiological characteristics of the brain. Is it large or small? How many neurons and synapses are there? These are physical features that can affect pathology. Then there is cognitive reserve, which refers to the brain's ability to rewire itself and find alternative ways to perform a function if the original pathway is damaged. A person with a high cognitive reserve can cope better with brain damage than a person with low cognitive reserve. The concept of cognitive reserve has been linked to education and occupational attainment. Based on epidemiological studies, People with more education and greater occupational attainment are believed to have a higher cognitive reserve, and they have demonstrated reduced susceptibility to Alzheimer's disease. It's also believed that a high cognitive reserve can delay the onset of clinical pathology. So the cognitive symptoms of Alzheimer's disease or other forms of dementia will manifest when the pathology is more severe. However, it's been observed that patients with a high cognitive reserve have a more rapid decline in cognitive function when their brain can no longer tolerate the level of brain injury. Besides education, research shows a link between low socioeconomic status early in life and developing Alzheimer's disease later in life. Low-income populations, in general, have less access to health care and are more likely to have unhealthy lifestyle behaviors like smoking, unhealthy eating, and not exercising, all of which can contribute to the development of Alzheimer's disease and other chronic diseases, such as obesity and diabetes. There are still a lot of unknown factors that can cause Alzheimer's disease. There are questions surrounding the effect of environmental toxins like metals and air pollution, the effect of the microbiome that coexists inside our bodies, and the role of the immune system. 
As scientists work to uncover the science behind Alzheimer's disease to develop a cure, a lot of research is also being invested into finding better ways to care for patients to ease the burden Alzheimer's disease has on them and their families.